Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here now that my two informative videos are done for the day. It's time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. So let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing, work on skilling up my crafting a little bit, and <laughs> let's talk about Phil, Phil Heath. Because everyone's going, Jason, why don't you talk about Phil Heath? He had a hernia. He had a big bubble gut. Louis Marco did a video on it. A bunch of people asked me, so I went and read a couple articles to see what was going on. A couple different bodybuilding websites had info. And, you know, the interesting thing, one of them was like, yeah, his doctor, his doctor said that it was uh, the most extreme hernia he's ever had. Apparently, he had two different types of hernias going on, and one of them is completely genetic. Um, but a bunch of the people in there were, were talking about it in the comments, and even the writer of the article said we should have even more respect for him. Now, wait, let me, let me get this straight. You should have respect for a guy because he abused so much insulin and IGF-1. I don't believe growth hormone plays a role here, actually. He abused so much insulin and IGF-1 that his gut started busting out of his abdominal wall. And you, you respect that. You know what? I respect this dude who used to live in my old neighborhood who smoked so much crack that he passed out from it. Normally it's a stimulant. He passed out in the middle of the road. I respect that. Because, you know, there are people who take drug abuse to one level, and then there's people who take drug abuse up, up to a whole nother level. And, and you have to respect those people, right? Like, basically, if someone is willing to abuse drugs until their guts start busting out of their abdominal wall like a big alien because they had those alien babies you guys remember the first alien with a little thing pushing out of the guy's stomach and you know everyone screaming and that's almost what it's like they got these big alien bellies ready to rupture from all their uh, absurd amount of drug abuse and we're supposed to respect this because it shows his pain threshold. The amount of pain he can handle to just keep abusing the stuff and just keep injecting it. Knowing it's getting worse and worse and worse and he's getting that bigger alien belly and it's painful because he's got a hernia due to his genetics. But you got to respect that because that's a guy who's committed to his drug abuse, right? That's a guy who is committed to his drug abuse when he is in excruciating pain from it. And he keeps going. Like, I don't care if I die. I don't care if my guts bust out everywhere all over the floor. I don't care. I'm committed to abusing these drugs. That's basically what we're, we're supposed to respect. I'm starting to think people who obsess over bodybuilding uh, really have their priorities in life mixed up. Just going to say. Uh, guys got a hernia. That's the other thing, too. You know, the doctor said it was genetic. That it was genetic. I thought bodybuilding was all about genetics. So you're telling me he doesn't have the genetics to abuse the kind of drugs that he abuses without his guts busting out of his abdominal wall? Uh, well, how's the guy winning these Olympias when he clearly has a gene that said genetics is not good for bodybuilding? I mean, that would kill you without surgery. Uh, but yeah, apparently four inches, four inches of the guy's intestine had come through his belly button. Oh, that's the reason apparently his belly button looked like a big fist. Uh, sticking out of his big, enormous alien belly. You know, uh, and at a certain point, you got to go, why are people watching this crap? All right, I'm not big on the aesthetics thing, but I do get it. I do understand, due to uh, classic art and everything, people say, you know what, I, I want to be aesthetic like a Greek statue. I want that classic look because it's attractive. Women like it. Other men respect it. All right, I get that. I'm not big on chasing the aesthetics thing. It's not my gig. But I get it. I get that. That makes sense. I understand it because it's about commanding respect, having a certain look, wanting to be a piece of art. I can I can appreciate that. Even if it's not my uh, gig, I can understand that from an artistic perspective. But these guys aren't artistic. They look like a Picasso. Do any of these guys today look anything like a Greek statue? Do any of these guys look anything? remotely attractive or aesthetic or a well-proportioned uh, attractive body in any way no they look like freaks pumped full of oil with massive guts they've got massive guts they got massive guts and people are still pretending like this is something they care about like this is something people should be interested in and even a lot of them there's some of these guys people are like well this guy doesn't have the big gut you yeah he does it's just smaller than the others 
it's just smaller than the others. And I believe the cause is actually uh, visceral fat from the insulin and IGF-1 they use. I think that's what's causing it. It's not just the food. So people are like, what's the amount of food they're eating? Well, they fasted for one day. You're saying that bubble gut will go away. Why did they have it on contest time? Food doesn't stay in your gut permanently. All right, it doesn't stay in your gut permanently. You're telling me these guys are going and eating three gallons of food again right before they step on stage? Uh, why don't they quit doing that then? Because they can't, because it's visceral fat surrounding their organs from the drug abuse. And here's a perfect example of a problem. You got a guy like that, Phil Heath, genetically predisposed to hernias, has a problem with his abdominal wall, and so he abuses these drugs to the point to where his guts are busting out. Uh, I suppose that's newsworthy, but at a certain point you got to step back and go, well, you know, because this is a genetic problem with your abdominal wall, this is going to reoccur again. And because you've continued to abuse all of these substances, it's going to get worse and worse. It may not ever go away. Maybe you could diet it down and come off all the drugs, but you have to quit. At a certain point, you got to look at the guy and go, do you want your abdominal wall to be destroyed? You want more rips in it? You want to just rip it wide open? Is that what you want to do? It's time for you to quit. All right, guys, but you know how I've called several others in the past. Uh, Phil Heath has to quit. If he keeps competing after he already has this enormous pregnant gut, he has an enormous belly. You know, people try to accuse me of having a gut. I got a flat stomach. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't look like that. I don't have a gut. I don't have something that pokes out past my chest. These guys do even with me. But at a certain point, you've got to just say, Phil, you have to quit. You're going to die. This is going to kill you. Uh, this is stupid. You've made all the money you're going to make out of this without it probably killing you. It's time to quit. It's time to quit. Now, a lot of people say, how could you say that? Uh, mainly because I'm kind of tired of watching these guys die. And at a certain point, maybe I shouldn't say that. Because the more of them that die, if Phil Heath drops dead from this, and then Kai Green drops dead, and the next guy drops dead, then, hey, I'll have a bigger platform to stand on. I'll have a bigger platform to go, I told you so. I told you so, but you know what I would rather see? I would rather see people who might actually be good people not kill themselves, not do stupid crap, not get involved in this absurdity called professional bodybuilding. I would rather see these people step back and stop killing themselves and stop dying for this. I would rather see people not commit suicide with their health than be right. I would rather be wrong and have these guys quit all killing themselves and killing the next generation of guys who they're inspiring to get involved in this. I would rather see that. I would rather be wrong and have people do less self-harm to themselves. I think that's the better alternative. I would rather see that. That's what I want. If people say, what do you want? What's the point of this? Well, what I want is for some people to start listening. I want people to quit killing themselves with this bodybuilding absurdity. That's what I want. Am I going to get what I want? Probably not. They're not going to quit. They're going to keep doing it. it is what it is. Uh, but again, uh, it is, you just got to look at this and go, okay, this guy's got genetic predisposition toward hernias, abuses drugs, and now his guts are busting out of his big, swollen, alien belly. When are they going to stop rewarding alien bellies? When are they going to take this and say, okay, we realize this has turned into a total freak show. It's stupid. Our guys are dying. Uh, we need to change the judging criteria. You know what? They're not going to. Because at the end of the day, pro bodybuilding knows these guys are disposable. They're disposable. They don't care if everyone on that lineup drops dead right now because they'll crank out another group of guys <laughs> ready to take their place. And they'll keep selling supplements and keep selling products and keep making money off of it. Because that's all it's about. It's about selling garbage products and using these guys, pretending like these products help these guys get their, their size and everything else that they have. When they didn't, the supplements didn't do any of it. It's all drugs, all genetics, that's it. Nothing else. And sight enhancement and all this other stuff. The over-the-counter products these people are selling do not contribute even 1%. But they don't care. They don't care if they all drop dead. It doesn't matter because it's still selling products. They can use whatever judging criteria they want. They can keep rewarding alien bellies and pregnant looking dudes full of synthol. And it doesn't seem to be hurting their revenue. Supplements are selling more than ever. 
they're selling more than ever. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many of these guys drop dead. They don't care as long as they keep selling protein powder and creatine. Who cares, right? That's how the companies see it who sponsor all of this. So it's not going to change. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.